Gezondheid sauf, deel 2 Die vrouw lacht toch te lekker vir my. Sê vir hom, Sophie, toe ek later die borde met hulle hoofgerechte voor hulle neersit, is die man nog nie klaar met my gekarring nie. The woman laughs cheerfully at me. Tell him, Sophie, later when I place the main dish plates in front of them, the man hadn't fish, uh, finished pestering me. Sê my Sophie, wie gaan vanmiddag al die skoddelgoed was? Ek, meneer, en tot hoe laat gaan jy nog was met al die mense hier? Hy wees met sy wijnglas in die ronde na die ander mense wat klippart sit en eet en praat en drink. Tell me, Sophie, who's going to wash all these dishes this afternoon? Me, sir? And till what time are you going to do the wash-up with all these people here? He's points his wine glass to all the other people sitting, um, eating, talking and drinking. Meneer sal my nie glo nie, maar dit gaan nie lang vat nie. Hoekom nie? Ek vat sommer al die spoke vast wat nog in die ou huis rondloop en steek hulle in die werk, terwyl ek in die voorhuis op die bank gaan leender is. Hulle was allemaal slawe, hulle weet hoe om te werk. Sir, you won't believe me but it's not going to take too long. Why not? I just get hold of all the ghosts that are still roaming in the old house and put them to work while I go and lie down on the couch in front of the house and rest. They were all slaves. They know how to work. <laughs> Lach die man. En vat a groot slik van sy wijn. Jy is a ander een, o sof. Maar sterkte hoor. Die vr- manse vrou glimlag ook vir my. En tel haar verkoop. By hulle gaan ek een groot foekie kry. Al glo hulle my nie. <laughs> Laughs the man and takes a big gulp of his wine. You're a different one, Soph, but good luck. The man's wife smiles at me and picks up a fork. With them, I'm going to get a big tip, even though they don't believe me. Beekie was toe reg. Teen drie uur die middag moet sy kind uit die visdam gaan haal, wat ingetuimel het. Sy het al een oog ontwikkel om dit eerste raak te sien. Becky was right. By three o'clock in the afternoon, she had to fish out a child from the fish pond who had tumbled in. She's, say, she developed an eye for spotting it. No, dit is ook nie so dat die visdam so diep is dat die kind heel te mal sal verdrink nie. Maar amal skrik hulle dood as die kind met die geskrou daar inval. Now, it's not the case that the fish pond is so deep that a child will completely drown. But everyone gets such a fright when a child falls in with a big shout. The ouders van die skruwende en skoppende kind by haar aan, probeer sy natklere uittrek en omtroos. Becky hou haar poos. Maar toe sy in die kleedkamer kom, toe flip sy uit. The parents try to take take the screaming and kicking child and try to take off his wet clothes and comfort him. Becky keeps her pose, but when she gets into the locker room, she flips out. Nee, daksels, skree sy. Volgende keer kan daar die blare die stout kinderse maas hulle uithaal, of hulle kan maar versuip vir al wat ek omgee. No ways, she shouted. Next time, those, the mothers of those naughty children can take them out. Or they can just drown for all that I care. Sy trek haar natbroek uit en gooi dit op die vloer. As ek kouwe op my nere trek en teebeer kry, gaan niemand vir my jammer kry nie. Sê vir peer, ek chyla nou. Ek kan nie verder so in hierdie natklere rondloop en dan boon op sonder broek nie. She takes off her uh, wet pants and throws it on the floor. If I get cold on my kidneys and TB, no one is going to feel sorry for me. Tell Pia I'm leaving. I can't walk around in these wet clothes and without pants. Sy grijp haar handstak, tel die natbondel van die vloer op en druk dit onder haar arm. Cheers, sê sy en klap die deur achter haar toe. She grabs her handbag, picks up the wet bundle from the floor and... Um, puts it under her arm. Cheers, she says, and slams the door behind her. 
is alles goed en wel vir Becky om te loop, maar omdat sy saam met my op onverwacht blij, is sy eindelijk die een wat my moet help met die skorrelgoed. That's all in, uh, well and fine for Becky to uh, walk, but because she lives with me on onverwacht, she's actually the one who has to help me with the dishes. Chef Pierre wacht tot elke gas sy laaste gerecht bestel, en dan draai hy die gasplate af. Chef Pierre waits until every guest has ordered the last dish, and then he turns off the gas plates. Hy gaan sit by ou Anna sy tafel onder die venster, skink vir hom een glas wijn, en steek sy bene lang voor hom uit. He sits down at old Anna's table under the window, pours himself a glass of wine, and stretches his legs out in front of him. Hy hang nog een bykie rond om te kyk dat die meisies alles van die buitense tafels opgeruim het. As die laaste gast sy koffie drink, dan vat hy sy motorsleetels. Jouna, Sophie, sê hy, en wees na die restaurant. He hangs around a little longer to check that the girls had cleaned up everything from the outside tables. When the last guest drinks their coffee, he takes his car keys. Yours, Sophie, he says, pointing to the restaurant. Dan vat ek oor, ek wat Sophie swart is. Ek word die bestieder van die jonkerhuis, se restaurant. Hierdie restaurant, se deur, sal nie vanmiddag sluit, voordat elke bord en mes en virk gewas en op sy plek is nie. Ons is nie klaar, voordat elke een van die drie miljoen glase nie skoon en gepoets in die rak staan nie. Then I take over, me, Sophie Swart. I become the manager of the Jonkers House restaurant. The restaurant will not close this afternoon until every plate and knife and fork is washed and put in its place, and we until we're not done with um, the three million glasses. They need to be clean and polished on the shelf. In wisse werk is dit? Die ander meisies is allemaal van die dorp. A taxi kom staan en brom by die achterdeur om hulle op te laai en huis toe te vat. As hulle te lang draai, dan toe die bestieder op so'n ongeskipte manier en dan sê ek, toe, rai, ek sal hier klaar maak. And whose job is it? The other girls are all from the town. A taxi pulls up and grumbles at the back door to pick them up and take them home. If they take too long, too long the driver hoots in a rude way and then I say, Go on then, drive, I'll finish up here. En dan is die meisies weg, allemaal van hulle, lawaierig en lacherig en hulle sakke vol oorskietkos en die tips wat hulle by die mense gekry het. Hulle bondel met bene en arms in die taxi in en skree as hy wegtrap, nog voor die deur ordentlik toe is. And then all the girls are gone, all of them noisy, laughing, with bags full of, with their pockets full of leftover food and the tips they got from the people. They bundle into the taxi with legs and arms and screams, and he pulls away even before the door is properly closed. On beskof, the taxi bestieders, so rude, these taxi drivers. Dan is it net ek, ek in die feil glase, in die vetterige borde, wat nog nie gewas is nie, en die feil vloer, en die feil goedromme wat oorloop. And then it's just me, me and the dirty glasses and the greasy plates that haven't been washed yet, and the dirty floor and the dirty bins that want to overflow. Ek maak seker dat allemaal weg is, dat ek alleen is, en dan gaan sit ek oorkant ou Anna by die tafel. Ou Anna, sê ek vir die vrou met die kwaai oor, kry jou meisies dat hulle kom help. I make sure everyone is gone, that I'm alone, and then I sit down across from old Anna at her table. Old Anna, I say to the woman with those angry eyes, get your girls to come and help. Is dit nie jou werk om te sorg dat my huis skoon kom nie, Sof? sê sy bitsig. Isn't it your job to make sure my house is clean, Sof? she says bitingly. Ek hou my dood rustig. Vir wat sal ek my laat sê van een spook? O Anna, ek was heel dag op my voete. Ek het my deel gedoen. Kom, ek gooi vir ons liever elkeen een lekker soet wijnkie. 
ons verdien dit. I keep very calm. Why would an old ghost tell me what to do? Oh, Anna, I've been on my feet the whole day and I've done my part. Come, I'll pour us each a, um, a lovely little um, dessert wine. We deserve it. Ek staan op en gooi vir ons elkeen een mooi likeur glasie vol muskedel uit die gesnijde kraffie op die buffet. O, uit die mire, onder die vloer, van boe van die solder, kom Antie Anna se meisies aangerol. Hulle bind hulle voorskote om die lijven, druk die kapie stuiver teen die koppe vast, rol die mouwe tot boe kan die elboe op. I get up and I pour us each in a um, beautiful little liqueur glass, muscadel, from the craft on the buffet. From the walls, the under the floor, and from the attic, all Auntie Anna's girls um, comes through. They put their aprons um, over their bodies and press their hoods tightly around their heads. Roll up their sleeves till the elbows. Hulle dra borde en messe en virke aan kom buis toe. Hulle tap water en spuit sunlight liquid in a dik straal op die glase wat in die wasbak le. They carry plates and knives and forks to the kitchen. They tap water and spray a thick jet of sunlight liquid on the glasses lying in the sink. Hulle was, hulle droog af, hulle vryf blink, hulle pak weg, en sluit die kastdeure met die skoon breekgoed mekies binnen ingepak. They wash, they dry off, they rub everything shiny, they pack away, and lock the doors with the clean crockery neatly packed inside. Hulle vryf die wasbalke droog en skid die nat vaddoeke uit. Hulle veer die vloer en mop dit met skoon seepwater. Hulle haal die swart sakke uit die dromme en bind dit stevig toe teen die plaasse werfkatte en die bierplaasse rondloper honde. They then dry the sink and shake out the wet dishcloths. They sweep the floor and mop it with a clean soapy water. They take the black bags out to the bins and time them firmly to avoid the far, uh, farm's cat, yard, um, cat and neighboring stray dogs from getting to it. Een vir een verdwijn hulle weer in die krake van die ou huis, toer het net ek en ou Anna is wat oorblij. One by one they disappear back into the cracks of the old house, until it's just me and old Anna who remains. Gezondheid, ou Anna, sê ek en lig my glasie vir die vrou oorkant my. Cheers, old Anna, I say, raising my glass to the woman across from me. Sy lig ook haar glas. Ons glase klink helder, soos een klokkie tegen mekaar. Gezondheid soef, rom sy, maar onthou net, jou dag sal ook kom. She raises a glass and our glasses sound like a little bell. Cheers, Sof, she grumbles, but just remember, your day will come too. Laat, ma- laat middag doen ek wel my deelkie in die kombuis. Ek was twee keer glasies mooi skoon. Vryf dit op totdat dit helder teen die licht blink en gaan bere dit in die mierkas tussen al die ander antieke glase. Late afternoon, I also do my bit in the kitchen. I wash the two liqueur glasses and clean them, rub them, and until they shimmer brightly against the light. And then I go and put them in the um, cupboard among all the other antique glasses. Our themes for this story is about um, you can use humor to make your work go faster and without any complaints. Um, and this is also what they call spek skitterai, um, directly translated um, bacon shootery, which is actually tall tales that are being told. And she tells it with um, about the role of the ghosts in people's lives.